So one more quick video showing it somewhat put back together. This is a uh, Lovejoy coupling. This is the part that actually attaches to the motor. You can get these in different sizes for whatever motor you're using. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. You notice this one is split. If the shaft alignment is not within a degree or two, the thing actually just self-destructs and eats itself up. So if you're going to use one of these, make sure that your engine alignment to your shaft is spot on. So now you can see that the shaft, which is connected to the rotor, can turn independently on these pillow block bearings. And of course you have that bearing in there. And this is the torque arm. So the load cell actually bolts on to here, and you see there's another hole down here. So what this hole is, is actually 12 inches away from the center line of the shaft. So that's how you actually calibrate the system. If your load cell is here, you do a little bit of math, hang a weight on this hole here, record the reading, and then you can calibrate your, your uh, load cell to the system. So there you have it. If you have any questions, post a comment. Thanks.